Welcome to Ashnik, your trusted open source partner. Today we are delighted to cherish and share with you our long-standing association with Elastic, the leading company for search-powered solutions. Our association with our distinguished partner Elastic has only enabled us further to propel forward our mission of enabling organizations to adopt open source for their digital transformation goals. To that end we are delighted to have been recognized as the best reseller for 2023 by Elastic. This award is a testament of Ashnik's continued commitment to enhancing business success for our clients through our strong partnership with Elastic and our innovative open source solutions and services. On behalf of Ashnik, our sales director, Mr. Ravi Papnoy, accepted the prestigious Best Reseller Award from Elastic. Let's dive into our collaboration history with Elastic and take a look at only a few of the many successful projects we have undertaken together. They are listed as case studies and white papers on our website. At Ashnik, we harness the power of Elastic search technology to deliver solutions and services tailor-made for your business needs for a winning outcome. Now, let's get interactive and hear from our sales director Ravi as he answers some of your questions about our long journey with Elastic. So, congratulations uh, to Team Ashnik on winning the Best Reseller Awards for the year 2023. I'm Rituraj. Uh, working in, as, uh, in the marketing de department of Ashnik. And I'm thrilled to have with us Ravi, who is a director of sales at Ashnik. He has been instrumental in leading Ashnik sales team to new heights. And today we have the privilege of discussing uh, Ashnik's recent achievement of being awarded the best reseller of 2023 uh, with him. So hi Ravi and welcome. And firstly, congratulations on your uh, five-year journey with Ashnik. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Dhrash. It's been a wonderful journey at Resnik and thank you very much for having me here. Right. Welcome. So let us start uh, with the event day itself. That is a day which on which, uh, you know, uh, all of us uh, were re really proud on Resnik's recent achievement. So I'm sure it's a proud moment on being awarded the best reseller of 2023. Can you share some experience of the recent uh, Elastic Reseller Awards? Sure. Yeah, it was indeed a proud moment for me to be there on behalf of the entire Ashnik team and receive the award. And uh, to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised when our name came up for the best reseller award of 2023. And uh, the audience present, the people present from Elastic, uh, it was a great evening uh, with some wonderful hosts and wonderful uh, people from Elastic and other partners of Elastic. So, yeah, pretty uh, happy about that. Okay. Okay. That's great. Could you also share some key moments that stood out for you during the event and who from the uh, leadership of team of Elastic was present on the occasion? Yes. I think uh, the answer to both the questions is interrelated. Uh, there was a good chunk of Elastic leadership that was present, global leadership. The co-founder and CTO Shai Benin was there. They had the uh, APEC leadership from channels and business present. And uh, almost all the uh, senior people from the India team, uh, including Neeraj Bhatia, who is the India head for Elastic and the area vice president. And I think a few moments that stood out for me were the focus that I see from Elastic, from the senior leadership team on uh, our country, on India as a country, India as a uh, business opportunity for them. And their focus on not just creating business opportunities, but putting in extra efforts and people into making the solution and making the company and making the community stronger here in this country. Uh, now let's talk about uh, our long-standing association with uh, Elastic, that is Ashnik's long-standing uh, partnership with Elastic. Could you share some or could you throw some key aspects or highlights of this long-standing partnership that we are having with Elastic since the year 2015 and how it has evolved over time? Yes. In my view, Elastic has been one of the technologies which has, uh, which we have very strongly been associated with since the time we started. And uh, it's been eight plus years now. We have served some of the biggest and prestigious names of Southeast Asia and India region. We, uh, when we started uh, in Southeast Asia, we got an opportunity to work with big prestigious names like DBS, Prudential, OCBC, Bank Mandiri, which are the biggest uh, banks and insurance companies of that region. We got an opportunity to understand from the customers their uh, problems on uh, log management, on observability, on search. And uh, we've been fortunate enough to have wonderful people in our team who have come from different backgrounds like databases, ETL, 
but they have picked up elastic wonderfully built some really good solutions for our customer designed uh, and implemented those and in fact in india one of the first customer where we started our journey on services with non elastic continues to be our customer it's been four plus years the cluster has gone from uh, initial one two three node setup to 20 plus node setup and uh, we've been serving that customer for four plus years so it's a great deal of satisfaction we get from uh, the association with such customers and their continued patronage and uh, support for our skills and our people right that is some journey i must say now uh, as we all know every uh, success story uh, comes with its own share of uh, small and big challenges so could you help our viewers understand or share, could you help our viewers uh, you know uh, understand by shedding some light on some of the notable uh, challenges or rather i would say opportunities that ashnik encountered on the journey to becoming the 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 best reseller of 2023 and how did we overcome uh, these challenges? Sure. I think uh, one point that I see some of uh, some people struggle with when they think about commercial open source is that they try to think of open source or the, uh, the free open source as a competition to commercial open source to their own business. And I think that is one regard in which we differ from a lot of uh, people who are in this business, from a lot of companies who are uh, our competition, uh, in, in the way that we look at open source not as a competition, but rather it's the foundation on which we believe the open source ecosystem is built. Only when a technology in its open source forum is widely adopted, successful at its implementation, that the people inside the organization, big organization, feel comfortable around uh, working with that solution, that technology. We believe that it's uh, it makes sense for that company to invest in the enterprise version of it, the commercial version of it, and to get more out of it. And that's where that has always been our firm belief. And that's how we try to always uh, build our uh, business. We have we always try to give our customers first the confidence about the capabilities of the open source technology and the open source ecosystem, the communities, uh, the community behind the uh, these technologies. And then when the customer has that confidence, it it becomes an easier journey for them to move on to the commercial open source because then they want to leverage more capabilities. They want to make sure that they are well supported and that all the compliance and uh, security aspects are well taken care of. So I believe that is one regard, uh, one aspect that uh, stands us out compared to uh, our competition. And I believe that is the mindset which has helped us uh, to uh, where we are uh, being the top resellers for Elastic in this year. Uh, now let's talk about a bit uh, about Ashnik's customers and the expectations. Uh, could you share some uh, perspectives into the type of customers that Ashnik serves, uh, their expectations? And ultimately, what do you want, uh, you know, Ashnik's customers to consider the brand as? That's a wonderful question. I think with our customer, primarily the uh, majority of our customer continue be continue to be from the BFSI segment uh, for uh, various reasons, which are uh, related to compliance as well as to be at the uh, forefront of digital uh, transformation that's going on in the banking insurance sector uh, for past many years. Open source technologies play a big pivotal role in that transformation, in that uh, uh, paradigm shift in their business. And uh, that's where I believe we have played a good role in uh, helping our customers build solutions which go beyond the traditional mandates, beyond the traditional use cases, beyond the traditional uh, mindsets and the traditional uh, needs. And when our customer think of newer use cases like automation, like uh, observability, like uh, Gen AI, that is where we are able to present our capabilities to our customers in the form of consultants who understand their business and who understand how these technologies can be used to achieve the best outcomes for our customers. So that's how I, uh, I like to think of uh, 
as of, of ourselves in front of our customers and that's that is the way our entire team strives to present ourselves in front of our customers and i think that is where uh, that's what we can attribute a lot of our success to so uh, you mentioned observability you mentioned generative ai so would you also count them in some of the latest open source trends that uh, you see uh, the the customers or in fact even the partners of uh, ashnik uh, following yes very much uh, i'm sure these days everybody uh, understands and grapples a lot with the question with a lot of questions around gen ai and personally these days when i go to meet most of my customers the one prominent question that i get asked is what are you guys doing on gen ai so and again that uh, that's as intrinsic to open source as uh, the adoption of linux or as the adoption of other uh, path breaking open source technologies in the recent past and uh, again uh, so i very firmly believe that even in the adoption and proliferation of gen ai and gen ai based solutions open source is going to play a very important role and technologies like elastic will have a very important role to play there by the virtue of uh, being able to support vector databases by the virtue of being at the core of search this was one line that shai ben and the cto founder of elastic spoke about during that event uh, the evening that we spent in bangalore uh, that uh, ultimately for all the gen ai use cases search is the base and that's one use case that elastic has been powering for many years now quite splendidly and there's a kind of role he sees for elastic and i completely agree with him that uh, at the heart of all gen ai use cases is the capability to search very strongly and very extensively and that's a uh, that's something uh, woven into the dna of elastic so i believe that's where uh, as as a partner to elastic and as a company uh, at uh, asnic we are putting a lot of efforts into and uh, we are trying to create relevant conversations and use cases for our customers okay thank you for helping uh, us understand uh, now our le- next and final question is on similar lines of of generative ai as we all know elastic has been one of the leading players who have been at the forefront of innovation so could you enlighten our viewers a bit about uh, if there was any specific message from the founder of elastic and how he perceives the role of elastic in the generative ai era but uh, i would just like to reiterate uh, that point that shai mentioned that at the heart of any gen ai applications use cases is the search is the ability to search large and huge data sets and that's what elastic has been elastic was originally built for originally meant for and those are the use cases that elastic has been powering quite splendidly in the past many years and uh, i couldn't agree more with him if uh, jenia is to be successful you need a tremendous ability to search contextual search is what you would need anyone anyone would need and that's where i believe uh, elastic has a big potential to emerge as a key technology in the uh, jenia era and uh, finally uh, do you see uh, uh, you know uh, asnic's uh, continued collaboration with elastic uh, on generative ai having a broader impact on the uh, entire open source ecosystem yes i definitely believe that we have been exhorting our people uh, at asnic to get more and more hands on with gen ai we already been working with large data sets with some of the largest customers in this region and uh, on elastic we have been uh, we seen how elastic has helped them uh, for the search use cases for their apm use cases for their observability use cases and uh, jenia is the next uh, step on this journey and uh, the way our people are making progress i'm uh, very hopeful that we will continue on this path and we will be able to have very constructive conversation and very good solutions built out for our customers right thank you ravi for sharing your time and your valuable insights with us today your experiences and unique perspectives have definitely provided our viewers with a much deeper and clearer understanding of ashnik's commitment towards excellence for its customers partners in the broader open source ecosystem thank you transform your cx with unified observability the full stack observability platform to make better data driven decisions for enhancing your enterprise's application and infrastructure performance get
improved application performance, faster incident response, increased visibility, actionable data insights, advanced machine learning capabilities to leverage, and much more. Talk to us and we will be happy to deliver the solutions that you are looking for the open source way.